hello all welcome back to my channel this is future b here with another video and in this video i'm gonna take on this viral trend i've been seeing it everywhere have you seen it too it's the blushing nails in this video i'm gonna show you two different ways that you can do the blushing nail trend um i will say that i really like this um i think i've tried it one other time i don't think i ever put that video out there but i really like this trend and it's not really so much that I think it's because the nails actually look like they're blushing. To me, they don't look like they're blushing. I think that it more so looks like a circular ombre. Am I weird? Is that weird? I don't know. <laughs> but I think it looks like a circular ombre and that's why I like it. So I wanted to try it. I'm gonna be using these um, two colors that I have already shown you here. One color is gonna be the base color. The other one is going to be the blushing color that I'm gonna use. This pink had like gold reflex in it. It is so pretty. And it's kind of like a dark pink. I wouldn't call it like a terracotta, but it's like a darker pink. And I think I would still consider it kind of to be a nude. I don't know, you let me know. What would you call this color? Do you think it's still on the pinky nude level? It's kind of dark, but I really liked it. I don't know. I can't really put my finger on why I liked it so much, but I really like this color. Also, while I was applying the acrylic, I was also playing with different bead sizes. Yeah, I don't do that too often, but I was playing with my different bead sizes. So tell me if you notice it when you see it, but on my first finger, I'm going to go in with a four bead on my middle finger. I'm gonna go in with three beads on my ring finger I'm gonna go in with two beads and then on my pinky nail I'm gonna go in with one bead so I'm gonna be doing different bead sizes for each nail obviously the nails are different sizes but I'm gonna be practicing doing different size beads as I'm working to do different methods do you ever do this to me <laughs> this was kind of playful because sometimes i just be i be playing whenever i'm doing my nails but um i wanted to practice doing different types of methods so for this pointer nail i went in with the first bead right where the natural nail meets the nail tip i'm covering that up now i'm gonna go in with another bead just below that one and then i'm gonna go in with a bead really close um, at the free edge and then lastly i'm going to go in with a bead above the first bead that i used and that one i will push up into the cuticle area and then that nail will be done All right, now I'm gonna go in for the next nail. I'm gonna be going in with the bead right where the natural nail meets the nail tip. I'm gonna be moving that one down the nail. You see it took up a little bit more space than the first bead did when I was on my first finger, you see? And now I'm gonna go in with a bead just below that one. And this bead is also going to take care of the free edge. I'm gonna work that down. Just pull in and letting the color fill the nail tip. And look, it looks pretty even. And now I'm gonna go in with the last bead, which is gonna be above the first one. I'm pushing it up into the cuticle area, and then I'm smoothing it down the nail. I don't always go as close as probably I could go into the cuticle area. I never wanna flood my cuticles, so sometimes I go a little bit below that just to be safe. And it doesn't hurt to be safe it's not enough that you know i think that i need a feel or anything like that but i like to do it just to be safe so on my ring finger i went in with a bead right where the natural nail and the nail tip meet and i've worked that all the way down the nail 
Now I'm going in with another bead. I'm gonna put that one slightly above the last bead, pushing it into the cuticle area and then smoothing it down the nail. So I only use two beads on that nail. And then lastly, on my pinky nail, I'm only gonna use one bead. So I'm gonna use a pretty big bead. So if you notice, my beads have gotten bigger and bigger as I'm using less beads to fill the nail. That is how you do it. That's how you work with um, different methods to do the same thing. But I wanted to play with that as I was doing these nails because these nails are pretty simple in that this is the only acrylic that I'm using. So I was playing a little bit. <laughs> Anyways, if you need help kind of working with beads of different sizes and knowing how to eyeball your size of your beads and your powder to monomer ratio, this is a good way to practice. I am gonna go in and encapsulate all of these nails. Not that I needed to, I could have not done this, but it's a habit. <laughs> acrylic applied as you can see the pinky nails is still wet now I'm gonna go in and make sure the first few nails are dry enough that I can go ahead and begin filing So when I've seen other people do these nails, it's like the process is simple enough. You go in with a little base coat on the nails that you would like for the technique to be applied to. And I've seen people go in with powder pigment. I've seen people go in with eyeshadow. I've seen people go in with acrylic. I've seen people go in with a lot of different items to do this. The first way I'm going to do it is to go in with a little acrylic. This is a red color from Glam and Glitz and I'm just applying a little bit of it onto the nail there. I have cured the nails after I put the base coat on it. That it, You see I'm going in with more base coat and then I'm going to put more acrylic on the nail. The good thing about the way I did it is that if it had been enough pigment on the nail by applying the base coat as I did, I could see what the nail looked like. I could decide if it was more and then I could add more, which is exactly what I did. Also, I'm using this fan brush to apply it because I didn't want to apply too much. I think if I had used like a scoop and applied it, I would have applied way too much. So now I'm going to go in with top coat. I'm going to see what the final look is going to be. You see it there, it is blushing. The color is not far from the base color. I think it came out really, really cute. Now I'm gonna show you how to do it with eyeshadow. So the, this eyeshadow palette that I'm using is an Anastasia eyeshadow palette. I'm gonna go in and I'm going to apply a little bit on the nail. I will say that the color that I was using was, in my opinion, probably a little too far from the base color of the nails and so on this nail it kind of looks more like bruised than blushing but really that's just because i'm under a pretty bright light under natural lighting it did not look as stark but i would say use a color that is close to the base coat that you're going to be using also uh, i think um I did it in a couple of different ways on the different nails. Can you tell which nails I use eyeshadow and which nails I use acrylic on? Let me know down below, which ones do you think it is? Because I did it differently, kind of on each nail. I didn't show that process, but you saw it on the first finger as well as on the middle finger. Two ways to do the blushing nail design. Tell me which other fingers I went in with the eyeshadow and which other fingers I went in with the acrylic powder. Overall, I think these nails are really cute and I was happy to wear them for as long as I did. And I really like this base color. It is just so pretty. What do you think? Have you tried this nail design? Are you gonna try this nail design? Do you get what I mean whenever I say bruised over blushing? <laughs> 
Anyways, I'll see you in the next video.